some things on our knees and it's nice to have this. In fact, it's kind of nice to start sitting on your blanket. So if you'd like to, you can take a blanket or even a block and then just sit on that uh, prop, whatever it may be. Um, just a reminder, and I'm Carolyn, for those of you that are new, welcome. So happy to uh, have you with us today. We have a nice large group. Um, just a reminder that this next hour is your time. So make sure you're in a space where you won't be disturbed. You maybe can close the door. Nobody will come in and bother you. And maybe you have some nice music that you can put on. If you have Spotify, I have a couple of playlists on there. Carolyn's Gentle Yoga, uh, Carolyn's Virtual Yoga, I think is on there as well. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Let's begin by centering our breath. So we're gonna sit in an easy pose. If this is not comfortable for you, a couple of things you can do. You can take some blocks and just place them on either side of the knees just to take some of the strain off the knees. If this still isn't comfortable for you, you can come into what's kind of a modified fold and have the legs out in front or maybe even sit on the shins. So we're just here, butterfly is also good. We're just here to connect our breath. So maybe you close your eyes and begin to just relax. Think about the belly region. Maybe you even touch that region of the body and breathe in deeply. Sip in a little more air as the air comes up through the collarbone. And then maybe sip in some more and hold that breath. Uh, uh, breath. And then exhale, just let it out through your mouth. Lion's breath. <sighs> just notice how the tension comes off your shoulders when you do that. We're going to do two more just like that with a lion's breath. So think about the belly breathing in. Maybe the eyes are closed. Sip in a little more air. And then lion's breath out <sighs> through your mouth. Don't worry about making a noise. And then let's do another one. Breathing in. Sip in a little more. Maybe hold that breath and then let it all out through the mouth. Good. Now we're going to turn that into our yoga ujjayi breath. So we're gonna take our shoulders, reach them up as high as we can towards the ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, tuck the, tail, uh, the belly in just a little bit, and then breathe in through your nose. Maybe sip in just a little more. Hold that breath, but this time, let it out through the nose. And hopefully the dimphorous that you noticed was you can hear it in the back of your throat. If you're not hearing that, breathe in as though you're surprised to see somebody. Exhale as though you're fogging up your glasses or a hand mirror. Let's try that again. Breathing in deeply. Sipping in just a little bit more air holding that air, and then letting it out through your nose. Good. Continuing that breath, breathing in, exhaling out. Beautiful. Relaxation is coming to play into this now. And as you're breathing, maybe your eyes are still closed, which is fine. Set an intention for today's practice. And that is just as easy as a simple word. Maybe a word that means um, positivity to you, gratitude, love, kindness, just any kind of word, or perhaps the energy that you create in today's practice, you can send it to someone you love. So maybe when you close your eyes, the image of a person or people or things uh, that are close to your heart will come into your mind. And we do this just to keep our mind in the hour, in the present. So our mind won't start to think about what we have to do later, our lists, or maybe something that we're a little worried about. And it will help us to make the most out of our practice. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and open our eyes. I'm going to remove my blocks. 
and sit up nice and tall. And let's sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Spread the fingers as wide as you can. Really good for the fingers. And then the, uh, the right hand's gonna grab the left wrist and we're gonna take a little stretch over to the right side. Feel that in the side body. Inhale, reach back up. Maybe you reach up even higher, straight arms. Left hand is gonna grab the right wrist. Take a stretch to the left. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, take it to the right. Inhale, reach up, stretch. Exhale, take it to the left. Good, two more, or one more. Inhale, reach up. And then take it to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it to the left. Now let's bring our hands down to our knees, give our arms a little break and just roll the shoulders out. Just roll them towards that back wall. Try to keep the spine straight. And then on your next breath, roll them towards the front wall. Just feeling the spine and the body loosening up a little bit. Good. Let's change our position to a butterfly, pressing the soles of the feet together, maybe even moving our butterfly wings just a bit. And then next breath, let's bring your hands to heart center. Sit up really tall, stretch the spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through your nose. Good, staying like this, let's send the hands out to the side. Spread the fingers wide, breathe in. Exhale out. And then on your next breath, we're going to bring that same prayer mudra position, but we're going to send it to the back of us. So just bring the hands, the fingertips together. Try to press the wrist together. We're not going to stay here too long because it kind of hurts. And just open up the chest. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. And then let's send the hands towards the front of the room. Spread the fingers nice and wide. We're going to make a fist and just rotate the wrist after doing what we just did. Breathing in, exhaling out. Next breath, take the hands and place them on the ankles. And we're going to create a diamond. We're going to press the feet out in front of us and look down and you'll see this nice diamond we've created with our uh, legs. And then we're just going to take a little fold. So with your breath, maybe take the hands, put them on the knees, and then inhale, exhale, slide the hands down to the feet, curve the spine round the back, grab your feet, let your head just hang, try to look maybe between the ankles, breathing in, exhaling out. And then we're gonna rise up, take our right foot and just place it to the right side of us. Take the left foot, just grab that ankle, place it to uh, the left. And then uh, you're up on a blanket. So if this is uncomfortable, maybe you just pull the blanket out from under you and then take your hands, place them back behind. So the fingertips are facing the back wall and we're gonna take some little windshield wipes side to side. It almost looks like we have a letter M with our legs. And let's go to the right. So inhale, take the knees to the right. Exhale to the left. You're leaning back just a little bit. Good. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. We're going to do one more each side. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. And then we're going to walk up, <laughs> walk up uh, our hands towards the front, take your um, ankle, grab your wrist, and then just pull that foot underneath so that that right knee is facing the front wall. Then take your left ankle and just bring it on the outside edge. And I think you, many, many of you know what's coming next. We're going to take a twist. So we're going to sit up nice and tall reach the right hand out, really spread the fingers. It's an opportunity to help the hands and reach even further. Maybe you feel the shoulder come a little closer to that front wall. 
bend the elbow, grab that left knee, pull it in tight, as tight as you can towards your body. Left hand comes out, reaches behind you. Maybe you TP the fingers and then twist the body, twist through the waistline, try to see the back wall. It's not easy and it happens over time. It gets a little easier the more you do this. Breathing in, exhaling out, holding it for one more breath, and then coming back to forward. Let's come back to that letter M position. So we'll take the left ankle, place it to the left, right, we'll untangle here, right ankle to the other side, lean back with your hands, fingertips facing the back wall. And this time let's go to the left. So we'll breathe in, knees come to the left. Exhale, knees come to the right. And as we're doing this, just a reminder of why we do that little looking to the back wall move. We do it many different ways. As we age, it's harder to look behind us when we're driving, when we're in the grocery store, and we uh, start to lose our hearing, we wanna be able to always look over our shoulder and not have to move our feet at all to look behind us. So yoga is a, a great thing for aging. So on our next breath, let's walk the hands back up and we're gonna twist to the other side. So this time we're gonna reach over, grab the left ankle, thread it underneath that right knee, and then our knee is facing that front wall. We take our right foot, place it on the outside, sit up nice and tall. This time left hand comes out, really spread the fingers nice and wide, reach around and pull that leg in. Right hand comes back behind and TP the fingers and then just press into your mat and squeeze the body through the waistline, try to see that back wall, good. Holding it for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna untangle, send the legs out in front and just kind of wiggle the legs out, loosen them up a little bit. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take the toes and draw them towards our body. Maybe we even press the palms together just so we know we're sitting up tall and then point the toes towards the front. Let's uh, make sure our breath is involved. Inhale, bring the toes towards the body. Exhale, draw the toes towards the front wall. One more, inhale, bring the toes towards the body. Exhale, toes go for, uh, towards the front wall. Then take your hands and bend the knees, pull them in, and we're gonna make our way into a table. So we're just gonna Send the knees to the right, press the palms into the mat. This is a great time if you uh, do have sensitive knees to take your blanket and maybe spread it out so your knees have a little cushion. And then just come right into that table position. So once we're in our table, feet are flat on the mat. Take a look at your hands, spread the fingers as wide as you can and press the tips of the fingers into the mat, keeping the hands active. And then we're gonna make some movements here. We're just gonna make some circles, bring that left hip towards the left wall, right hip towards the right wall, and just circle around. And maybe the belly even curves up into the spine. Maybe at one point the belly drops down towards the mat, almost a cat-cow motion built in and then reverse those circles the other direction. I once heard a yoga teacher say that when you're doing this particular movement, think of a peanut butter jar and that you're inside of that jar and you're trying to scrape the outside edges and get every last bit of peanut butter with your body. Kind of a nice visual. Breathing in, exhaling out. And then on your next breath, we're gonna stretch out a little further. So we're gonna reach back the right toe, tuck it into the mat and draw the heel towards the floor or towards your mat. Feel that stretch in your calf muscle. Then at the same time, we're gonna heel toe the left foot off the mat. So it comes off the mat, a little awkward. Let's bring all of our weight into the right 
palm. And then we're going to take our right hand right to the forearm of, of the left uh, hand and just slide our right hand up the body across our chest. And then the right hand reaches for the ceiling. Chest is facing that back wall. Maybe you even make a fist and rotate the wrist here and just hold this. Now, if you want a little bit more while we're here, you can take the left leg and just send it to meet the right and turn this into a side plank. Just an option, holding this. And then next breath, wherever you are, come on back to a table. And let's go right back to our peanut butter jar movements. Just moving the hips side to side, drawing the belly in towards the spine. Make sure you're breathing that beautiful Ujjayi yoga breath. Good. On your next breath, we're going to do the other side. So we're going to reach back the left toes. Just tuck them into the mat. Draw the heel towards the mat. Feel that stretch. And at the same time, heel toe the foot on the right side off the mat. All of the weight's going to come into this right palm. And then take your left arm, maybe touch that right arm and then just slide the left arm all the way up across the chest, reach up towards the ceiling, see your thumb here, maybe you make a fist and rotate the wrist. And if you want a little bit more, just take the right knee and straighten the right leg and send it to meet that uh, left foot and you're in a full plank, holding this as you breathe, breathing in. Exhaling out, good. And then we're gonna come right back to our table. Very gently, take your time slowly. Let's take a cat cow. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat, draw your chin to your chest. Arch the back, good. Let's do another one. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, wonderful. Then on your next breath, we're gonna come into a low um, runner's lunge. So we're gonna take the right foot and we're just gonna plant it right in between the hands. TP the fingers and come on up. Take your hands, spread the fingers wide and just place them on the right knee. We're gonna do a little bit of work here. So on your next breath, we're going to just send the body by bending the knee on the right side a little deeper towards that front wall. So we're gonna just Bend down, stretch, and you're going to feel a nice stretch on the left side, on the hip connector. And then next breath, we're going to come right back, but lean back enough that the right foot's going to come up, the toes are going to come up, and we're going to sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands come right back down to the right knee, and we send the body forward. So we're going to do a few of these, a little flow. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Toe pops up on the right side. Exhale, hands come back to knee, stretch the body forward. Let's do one more. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. And then take that breath out as you reach the body forward. Next breath, we're gonna stay right where we are, but we're gonna send the right hand down, plant it into the mat and sweep the left arm up towards the ceiling. Try to twist the body enough to see your left thumb and hold this five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to take it to the other side. So left hand is going to replace the right hand and my back's going to be to you. And you're going to look towards that back wall and hold this, twisting the body for five, four, three, two, one, and then go ahead and lower that right palm and send that right leg back in your back end table. Let's take two cat cows here. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat, chin towards your chest, arch the back, good. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Wonderful. On your next breath, we've got to do that on the other side. So we're going to take the right foot and just plant it right in between the hands. Now, if you don't quite make it, you can always take the left hand, grab that ankle and help it out. I do that all the time. Nothing wrong with that. And then on your next breath, we're going to rise up. 
Left hand is gonna go on the left knee. Right hand's gonna go right on top. And we're gonna send the body towards that front wall. So inhale, reach the body towards the front wall. Maybe hold it there and feel that stretch in the right hip connector. And then exhale, sweep the arms up, rock back. Maybe the toe comes up on the left foot. Inhale, hands come down to the knee, reach towards the front of the room. Exhale, sweep the body, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. And one more. Inhale, hands come to the knee, reach forward. And then exhale, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Hold them there for just a bit and then come back. And we've got to bring our hands back down to our knee. Now my back is going to be to you this time. So we're gonna take the left hand, press it into the mat. Uh, the fingers are very close to the foot and then sweep the right hand towards the ceiling. Looking towards the back wall. Maybe you can even look at the right thumb. And then next breath, we're gonna switch that around. Right hand's gonna to come towards the foot. Left hand's gonna come up. A little bit of a balance here. Try to see your left thumb, hold this. And then next breath, come right back to your table. Press the hands into the mat, send that left foot back. And let's take a child's pose here after all of that. Let's bring the knees as wide as they will go. Maybe they're on the outside edge of the mat and then bring the big toes to touch. Sink the hips back, walk the hands forward and see if you can get your chest close to the mat. Maybe you even press your forehead into the mat. Let's take a nice breath in, deeper breath out. And on your next breath, let's take a little twist. So we're gonna take our hands and just lift up enough that maybe we straighten the arms and walk the hands all the way off the mat to the right side. Maybe the left hand even comes on top of the right. Feel that stretch in the triceps on the left side and hold this for five, four, three, two, one, good. And then let's walk the hands all the way back to the center and all the way to the left side as far as they'll go. Maybe the right hand comes on top of the left. Get a good stretch and hold this for five, four, three, two, one. And then walk the hands all the way back. Walk the fingers as far as they'll go to the top of your mat bringing the chest down a little more. Try to hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good, and then we're gonna slide the right hand towards the body. Slide the left hand towards the body. Bring the knees back together, and we're gonna lift up and tuck the toes and sit back and hold this. This is hero's pose. And if you notice, you're on your toes. If you notice the little pinky toe, is not really getting squashed, we want it to. So go ahead and just adjust the pinky toe so that every toe is getting pressed down. This is good for plantar fasciitis, just good for feet if you wear um, heels or any kind of shoes that don't have a good arch support. We all do it. So let's take our hands, spread them nice and wide, send them out in front, make a fist and rotate your wrists. Might as well make the most of this. Breathing in, exhaling out. Almost there as we breathe. And then next breath, we're gonna spread the hands and fingers as wide as we can. Come back into a table very briefly, flatten the feet, and then just paddle the feet into your mat. It'll give the toes and the feet a little relief after holding that for a bit. Next breath, we're gonna sit back onto the heels, stretch out the heels and just hold this five, four, three, two, one. And then just for a moment, take your blanket, maybe just place it on the outside of your mat. And we're gonna come back to a table where we're not gonna stay. So pressing the fingertips nice and wide, uh, bringing the hips or the knees right underneath the hips. We're going to tuck the toes. 
lift the knees, lift the hips all the way up, coming into a down dog position, taking our gaze to that back wall, making sure our fingertips are pressing firmly into the mat, and maybe you pedal out here. Try to send the hips even closer to that back wall, and just look at your feet. Make sure that your feet are close enough together, not too far apart, that maybe two fists could just fit right between your feet, and then you know you've got good alignment. And then on your next breath, we're gonna raise the right leg. Hold that up and then bend that right knee. And we're gonna reach through and plant that foot right in between our hands, plant that back foot, and we're gonna come into warrior one. Sweeping the arms up towards the ceiling, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Maybe you make a fist and rotate the wrist here. Stacking the knee right over the ankle. And then on your next breath, we're gonna turn this into warrior two. Just come right to it. Take your gaze right between your finger. And then we're gonna actually take the back hand, uh, the left hand, sweep it back behind us. And we're gonna flip the hand on the right and reverse our warrior. Just reach up towards the ceiling. This is a little bit of balance holding this. And then exhale, come right back to warrior two. Good work. On your next breath, let's go ahead and straighten the front leg, rotate into a triangle, triangle pose. We're gonna twist the body here. This is also a little bit of balance. Try to see your left thumb. And then on your next breath, you have an option. You can stay right here, or you can take that left hand, reach it back behind you, try to find your right thigh, maybe give it a little squeeze and twist the body even more, looking at the ceiling, holding this for five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly we're gonna come right back into warrior two. We're just gonna go right to it. Take your gaze right between your fingers, breathing in, exhaling out, and next breath we're gonna rotate at the waist, press our hands down, and let's come into another child's pose. So we'll bring our knees out wide, sink the hips back. And maybe this time we bring the hands alongside our feet, give our shoulders a little break and just breathe. I'm gonna turn this way for, um, just so you can see me better on the other side. So just breathe here. Maybe you press an ear into the mat. Maybe you press the forehead into the mat, breathing in. Exhaling out, staying for another breath. Ujjayi, breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. On your next breath, let's go ahead and just send the hands back around up to the top of the mat, unless they're already there. And we're going to come up into a very brief table where we will not stay. We're going to tuck the toes. We're gonna lift the knees and lift the hips. And I turned around just so you can see me, but you, you can stay right where you are and just pedal out the feet on this side. Check your fingertips, make sure they are planted firmly into the mat. Hands are active. You can see the veins in the hands. Send the hips back a little bit. And once again, make sure the feet are close enough together that two fists could fit right in between. On your next breath, let's raise the left leg. Reach it up nice and high, bend that knee, draw it through and plant that foot right in between the hands. Coming into your warrior one on this side. Maybe you look at the ceiling and stack that knee right over the ankle, holding this. And then next breath, turn that into warrior two. Just come right to it. Take your gaze right in between your fingers, stack the shoulders over the hips, and then we're going to reverse our warrior. So go ahead and flip the palm, take that uh, left right hand, reach it back behind, and then lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. Try to balance, try to look at the ceiling, hold this. Good. And then exhale, come right back to warrior two. Gaze is right through your fingertips. On your next breath, we're gonna straighten the front leg and cartwheel down into that triangle position. 
in your hand, your left hand can maybe touch the top of the foot or the mat, twist the body and try to see your right thumb here. If you want a little deeper, a little more, take that right hand, reach it back behind, try to find your thigh and squeeze it as you look up and twist the body, wringing the body out. So good for you. Hold this five, four, three, two, one, and then send the arm back up if you did that, and then come back into your warrior two. Nice spin into the knee, gaze through your fingers, and then we're gonna straighten the leg, and we're gonna just bring the body in towards the front. So you're almost like a, you're in an X, and we're gonna heel toe the feet together, and this is how we're gonna come for our balance today. So, uh, come up to the top of your mat, or maybe you go to a wall if you feel more comfortable or near a chair. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, metabolism work before we do our balance. So coming up to the top of your mat, bringing your feet about hip distance apart. Let's take the shoulders, reach them up towards the ears, roll them back, opening the chest up nice and broad, squeeze the belly button in tuck the tailbone, lots to think about. And then we're gonna sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers as wide as you can, straight arms. Maybe the arms are touching the ears. Lift all 10 toes, but squeeze the face, squeeze the arms, squeeze the belly in towards the spine, lift the kneecaps, which turn on the thighs and lift the toes even higher. Hold this, squeeze, keep breathing. Arms are gonna get tired, but that's good for us. And heart rate's going up a little bit, getting warmer, almost there. And then exhale into Tadasana. Now, once you're in Tadasana, let's kind of shake everything out because we are gonna work it a little harder in this position. So after you've sh get, gotten a little shake, then bring your feet about hip distance. Let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards the ears, roll them back, bring the hands out into Tadasana, spread the fingers wide. This is where it's really gonna work right here. We're, we're gonna work hard. We're gonna squeeze the face, squeeze the arms, and you wanna squeeze so hard that it burns the, the backs of the arms, the triceps, burn, burn. And then squeeze the belly in towards the spine, lift the kneecaps, which turn on the thighs and then lift the toes and squeeze so hard here. Keep breathing. Hopefully your body will start to shake a little bit. This is burning calories. This is working the metabolism. So good for you. So many health benefits. Squeeze the face even harder. Squeeze the arms even tighter. Belly to the spine, lift the kneecaps even more. Lift all 10 toes, keep breathing, keep squeezing. Getting warmer, heart rate is definitely going up. And then on your next breath, relax. Whew. Should feel a little bit tired, very good. If you wanna shake everything out before we do a little balance, perfectly fine. And then let's go ahead and take care of our balance. So either on the mat, if you are on carpet, maybe go to a wall or a piece of furniture and let's go ahead and take our hands, place them on our waist. We're gonna rock all of our weight onto the left foot and then we're gonna send the toes on the right foot over closer to the left. Nice posture here. And let's just begin to tap, really exaggerate the tap, bring the knee up towards the chest, tap for five, four, three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna lift the knee, straighten the toes and lift the knee towards the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Now this is the hard one. We're gonna straighten the leg out in front. Toes are towards the ceiling. Maybe you reach the hands up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers, hold this. Five, four, three, two, whoop, one. <laughs> Give yourself permission if you have to step down, that's perfectly fine. Next breath, we're gonna take a figure four. So figure four is just taking the right leg, crossing it over the left, bending down, and then trying to keep the spine as straight as you can. The trick here is to stare at a spot, and I'm not doing it, so stare at a spot, 
Grab your balance, straighten your spine, good, and hold it five, four, three, two, one. We're almost there. Take it to a tree pose. Just straighten that left leg, adjust the foot, avoid the, the knee area, and maybe your tree is just a half tree. Maybe you take it all the way up and open the chest up towards the ceiling. Try to hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And if you didn't balance perfectly, every day is different. It's a journey. That's the beautiful thing about yoga. You can grow with it. So let's take care of that standing leg. Press the toes into the mat. Rotate the ankle. And then maybe you step right onto the toes and draw that heel towards the mat on the left side. Maybe you shake the foot out. Just take care of yourself and just allow yourself a little bit of forgiveness because this balance isn't easy. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and place all of our weight this time onto the right. So we'll do the left side. So all the weight comes to the right leg, hands go on the hips, slide the toes of the left foot over and just begin to exaggerate that tap for five, four, three, two, one, and then lift the knee, straighten the toes towards that front wall. Stare at a spot, that's your dristy gaze, and lift, five, four, three, two, one. Keep staring at a spot, and then we're gonna raise, or uh, we're going to straighten the left leg. Arms come up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers, and hold this. Stare at a spot for five, four, three, two, one, and then hands come down to heart center, bend on that standing leg and take your figure four. Make sure you're staring at that spot. Hold it five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. And then our last one is our tree pose, pressing it in. Maybe it's a low tree, maybe this is a half tree for you, or maybe you come up all the way and arch the back and look at the ceiling for five, four, three, two, one, release. Once again, let's take care of the standing leg, the right leg this time. We're gonna press the feet or the toes into the mat, rotate the ankle, and then maybe you step right onto the toes and draw that heel towards the floor, shake out the foot, give everything a shake if you like. And then on your next breath, we're gonna stay in our mountain for just a bit. Go ahead and press the hands, the palms together. And let's just heel toe the feet out um, about a little past hip distance. So we're gonna just bring each toe, the right toe and the left toe out towards the corner of the mat and then bring the heels to meet. And then bring the toes out one more time. And you'll notice that the feet are about a little more than hip distance. And then we're gonna come into cactus and bend the knees. This is a goddess pose. Squeeze the elbows towards the back wall. Next breath, we're gonna raise the right heel, lower it, good. Left heel, lower it, good. Raise the right heel, lower it. Raise the left heel, lower it. One more, raise the right heel, lower it. Raise the left heel, lower it. Now raise both heels up. Stare at a spot, straight spine, and hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower both heels, straighten the legs, and then just heel toe the feet so they're about hip distance. And then we're gonna make sure we get back down onto our mat. So if you're not already on the top of your mat, go ahead and um, come to the very top of your mat. We're gonna take a mountain pose. So let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, Roll them back, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers, maybe you even lift the toes, semi turn it on, and then exhale, take a fold, I'm going to turn sideways, inhale, flat back, halfway lift, back is so flat you could put a glass of water on and it wouldn't spill, exhale, take another fold, maybe you bend the knees here and swing the hips lightly side to side, maybe you shake the head, yes. 
shake the head no. And then on your next breath, we're gonna come into a chair pose. Just come right into it. Maybe a cactus the arms, sink the hips nice and low, straight spine. Maybe you come up onto the tippy toes if you want a little bit more. Try to hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and then exhale, take a fold, bend the knees, and very gently come side to side. And then we're gonna take one more halfway lift, flat back, exhale, come on down to the knees into a table, but we're not gonna stay in the table. We're gonna sit back on the heels and we're gonna actually make our way onto our back. So to get on your back, you can do it two ways. You can sit up nice and tall, have your hands out to the side and slowly come down. But a nice way to do it too is to come into a fish pose. So maybe you come onto your right elbow and then come onto your left elbow. Bring the heels together, let the feet flop outside, relax the neck and just hold this for a bit. This is fish pose kind of a nice pose. And then slowly come on down. Once you're down on your mat, let's go ahead and bend the knees. And let's just press our low back into the mat. Just press the low back in. And then exhale, let that natural arch come back. Good. On your next breath, let's bring our uh, shoulders together, clasp the hands, underneath the hips and take a bridge pose. So we'll just send the hips up towards the ceiling. If you wanna come up onto your tippy toes to intensify this bridge, you can do that. You don't have to. And then slowly, slowly with your breath, lower that bridge down by bringing your hips back down to the mat and then take your knees, draw them into your chest and then just rock side to side. If you wanna rotate your ankles after that balance that we did, really a nice opportunity right here. And then just bring those rotations the other direction. Very nice. On your next breath, let's go ahead and turn this into a happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of your feet. You can still rock gently side to side. Maybe you close your eyes bringing the heart rate back down after all that we just worked on. Hear your breath, breathing in, exhaling out. And then we are gonna do just a tiny bit of core work, but it is so tiny. So we're just going to bring the legs up into a waterfall. Take the hands and just relax them by your body's side. Let's go ahead and point the toes, straight legs and then draw the toes towards your forehead. That's where you feel it, right there, good. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw them towards the forehead. One more. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw them towards your forehead, good. And then we're gonna go ahead and just bend the knees and let them hover right over the hips. Let's bring the arms out to a T. And be very aware of your shoulders here. Maybe you even squeeze the shoulders a little tighter together. So the shoulder blades are pressing into the mat. And you can still rotate the ankles here. We're setting up for a supine twist. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and close our eyes here if you like. Take a deep breath in. Sip in a little more air. Hold that air. And then exhale, let it out through your mouth. <sighs> Lion's breath, that's our pranayama energy breath. Let's do that again. Breathing in deeply, sipping in a little more air, hold it for just a bit. And then exhale out. <sighs> Let's bring the knees to the left side to net today. We change that up from time to time. So we'll bring the knees, let them just drop to the left side, nice twist in the body. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. And if you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can take your right leg and just extend it straight and press it down, press down that left 
knee, the left side. Let's hold this nice pose, just stay. Allowing the body just to relax, heart rates dropping, relaxation is setting in. Lowering our blood pressure right now. And then on your next breath, we're gonna untangle and bring the knees to hover right over the hips. Rotate the ankles if you like. Another opportunity, you can even rotate the wrists since your hands are out in a T. And let's take that lion's breath again. Deep breath in. Sip in even more air. Try to hold that breath and then let it out through your mouth. Ah, so relaxing. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Sip in a little more air. And then exhale through your mouth. And this time take the knees and let them just drop to the right side. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Go ahead and extend the left leg if you want to. And try to keep the shoulders glued to the mat. And just enjoy this. Just relax. Hear your breath. You're going to stay in this position for just a bit. And then on your next breath, we're going to untangle, bring those knees to hover right back over the hips. Let's go ahead and take our hands and clasp the knees, give yourself one more squeeze. Just pull the knees in, rock side to side. Maybe you pull in so much that the tailbone comes off the mat just a little bit. And then on your next breath, let's bring the feet down, just press them into the mat. We're gonna knock the knees together. You can bring the hands out to the side, knocking the knees together and then heel toe the feet all the way off the mat. Maybe they don't come off the mat. Maybe they just come to the mat's edge or maybe they come off the mat and you're gonna feel a nice stretch along the sides of your hips. Try to hold this, try to stay with your breath for five, four, three, two, one, good. And then we're gonna to heel toe the feet back together all the way until the feet meet and the soles of the feet come together and then just let the knees fall out. Not gonna stay here very long. It's sometimes not real comfortable. And then you can take the hands, place them right on the thighs and just gently give a little press. Hold this for three, two, one, Good, and then just take the fingertips, draw the knees together, and let's slide the right foot down in front, slide the left foot down in front, and then bring the, the heels to touch. So the heels are touching, feet are gonna flop like they did in fish pose, and then squeeze the shoulders underneath you even tighter. Try to allow the low back to press into the mat, and then just move your head side to side, setting up for our Shavasana. Allow the tongue to come off the roof of the mouth and drop into the lower palate. Move the jawbone side to side because probably your teeth were clenched today and you didn't even know it. So just relax and soften through the face. And then think about your shoulders, think about your neck, your chest, Allow that part of your body to melt a little deeper into the mat. And then spread your fingers as wide as you can. And then release that and allow your fingertips, your hands to just melt into the mat. Squeeze your hips, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, and then release that. Let that melt into your mat. And then point the toes. Turn on the calf muscles and then release. Let that all just melt into your mat, mat. We're gonna take one more breath just to deepen our relaxation. Deep breath in from the belly. Sip in a little more air. Hold that breath. And then let it out, lion's breath out. 
close your eyes and we're going to stay here until we hear the bells ring. I'll ring the bells when it's time. So just enjoy melting into your mat. And with the sound of the bells, staying in Shavasana, just take your hands, stretch the fingers out as wide as you can. Try to stretch the toes out as wide as you can, separate them. And then make a fist with the fingers, rotate the wrist, and maybe just wiggle out the toes. Breathing in, exhaling out. Good, and then before we bend the knees, let's go ahead and sweep the arms over our head. Straight arms, try to touch the wall that's right behind you. And then point the toes, try to reach for the wall that's right in front of you. And we're gonna turn everything on. We're gonna squeeze the fingertips apart, spread them wide, squeeze the face. Draw the belly in towards the spine. Lift the kneecaps. Maybe they, the knees lift off the mat just a little bit. Point the toes even harder. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then exhale. Release all that tension and just draw the arms by your body's side. Now on your next breath, let's go ahead and bend the right knee. Press that foot into the mat. Bend the left knee. Press that foot into the mat and then reach for your knees, draw your knees into your chest. Maybe you rotate the ankles here and rock slowly side to side, hearing that breath. On your next breath, let's roll all the way to the right side. Make a little pillow with your right arm just to support your neck and draw the knees in a little tighter in towards your chest. Take a deep breath in, deep exhale out, <sighs> lion's breath is fine, let's do that again, deep breath in, deep exhale out, <sighs> good, and then we're slowly going to press ourselves up onto our mat and end up in a comfortable seated position. If you want to sit on your blanket, you can do that. Just slide it underneath you, gives you a little bit of height and sit in a comfortable position. I allowed a little extra time because I wanna make sure we take care of our necks and our shoulders. So sitting up nice and tall, your eyes can stay closed. We're nice and relaxed. We're gonna take the shoulders, reach them up towards the ears, Roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the belly in towards the spine. And then we're gonna take the left hand and just hover it lightly over the mat. Maybe it touches the mat just slightly. 
Go ahead and cactus the right hand, spread the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades even tighter together. And then maybe the eyes are still closed. Reach the right hand all the way across the head. Find that left ear and then gently press the head so that the right ear finds the left, the right shoulder. Hand is on the left ear. Closing your eyes, holding this, letting go. This is where we store a lot of the worries. This is where we store the anxiety, the tension, the fear. Just let it go. And then on your next breath, take that right hand, slide it down to the back of the skull and take the left hand and just rest it lightly on your knee. Maybe your eyes are still closed. I hope so. And then just squeeze the back of your skull with your fingers, with your thumb. Maybe you squeeze the neck a little bit. Give yourself a massage. You deserve it. And then on your next breath, draw your nose in towards your armpit on the right side. Now here is where you might want to open the eyes, squeeze the belly in and just look towards the back of your mat or the floor, or the carpet. You might feel a little sensation up your spine or your shoulder on the left side. Then release this, both hands to the knees and just roll out the neck. Roll the neck out. Feel that tension just evaporate. And then on your next breath, we'll do it on the other side. So we'll take the right hand and just let the fingers hover over the mat. Maybe they touch the mat. And then cactus the arm on the left side. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Squeeze the belly in. Maybe the eyes are closed. And sweep that arm on the left side over. Hand finds the right ear. Gently presses so that the left ear can search for the left shoulder. Close your eyes and breathe. Completely let go. Completely give in. And then slide the fingers to the back of the skull. Take your right hand and gently place it on your right knee. Close your eyes and just squeeze the back of your neck. Squeeze the back of the skull. Maybe it's different on this side. Maybe there's something you're holding on to that's stored on this side of the body. Let's let it go. Good. And then on your next breath, draw your nose and your chin underneath or towards your armpit. Maybe you open your eyes here. See the back of your mat. Squeeze the belly button in. See if you feel something on the right side of your spine, the right shoulder. Holding this. And then release. Beautiful work. Let's go ahead and take our shoulders one more time. Reach them up towards our ears. Roll them back. And then sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Spread the fingers on the way up. Press the palms together. And then bend the elbows. Draw the hands down to heart center. A few more little things we want to take care of. Let's take care of our wrists. They do so much. Our hands and our wrists do so much for us. So we're going to dial the fingertips down towards our feet. Maybe the eyes open just to see your veins. In the pinky fingers, try to have them reach towards the belly. And this really helps the forearms turn on. So good for computer work, cell phone work, cooking, painting, 